go where my research takes me. Hello, little spirit. I hate her voice over already. Oh. I go where my research takes me. Okay, has enemies. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, Blackjack, link, link me, link me, link me. You know what? What, what, what we made? Bingo. L link me the bingo. Hello, little spirit. So few see the world as I do. You're in my realm now. What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that seems fun to play against. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's a cage. It's like Mars ulti from Dota. Okay, back to work. The spirits here still need me. Okay, like the video. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, ha I have it, I have it, I have it. Fuck. What is it? Oh my god, we made a bingo for her. I have it saved somewhere. Give me a second. I found it, I found it, I found it, I found it. Okay, this is not a good res, but good enough, okay? We have abilities. Okay. We have the bingo, guys. We have the bingo for the new champion, Aurora. Manaless, 500 range auto attack, hard CC, free hit passive, built in ma magic pen, a dash, gimmicky ult, shield or sustain, wave clear on Q, longest passive, more than one passive, Point and click, free space, percentage HP, pets, Q equals damage, W defense, E mobility, dot, true damage, spell blade user, resets, two skill shot, stacks, terrain scaling, wholesome personality. Okay, we can, we, we, we can already check this out. Sweet spot hashtag empowered ability. Okay, let's see. Do we count this as the longest? Okay, passive. Spirit Abjuration. If Aurora damages an enemy three times with her spells and attacks, she will deal magic damage and exercise a spirit to her, entering spirit mode and gaining movement speed and empowering her healing for three seconds. For every additional spirit following Aurora, the bonuses from spirit mode are increased by 5%. That's a free hit passive. There we go. We have Sweet Spot and Empowered. Uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Is that Sustain? Oh, two passive, more than one passive. Shield the Sustain. There we go. That's not Stacks. Yeah, that's 500 range auto attack as well. That's 500 range auto attack. That's 500. Exactly 500. But the pet doesn't do anything. I I, I guess we counted. Fuck it, <laughs> bro. Already, you just a passive. It stacks? Okay. Uh, stacks and max health damage. What is it? Percentage HP. 
Okay, Q, fires a blast of cards energy in a direction, dealing magic damage to enemies and marking them with spirit energy. Recast, and the card is drawing back the spirit energy to dealing magic damage to enemies passing through. That's wave clear on Q, do we have that? That's also one skill shot. Uh, okay, nothing. But that's fine, that's, that's pretty basic, I guess. It's, it's pretty cool, because you can like... Q the casters and then recall it and it will like, you know, hit the enemy. I mean, that's pretty okay. You have wave clear on Q. Wait, do I? Oh, I, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I actually do. You're right. If she's, she's not Spellblade, right? Longest passive. I think I... Oh, okay. <laughs> W. Hop in a direction upon landing, enter the spirit realm, becoming invisible and entering spirit mode for several seconds. But wait, invis like in it does not camouflage. That's actual invis. That's actual invis. My VTuber broke. That's actual invis. Take down the enemy champions, reset the cooldown of this ability. She has reset enemies. There we go. That's resets. And the and terrain scale. Wait, terrain scaling. There we go. Terrain scaling. Oops, over walls. Okay, it's not that long. He sends out a blast of spirit magic, dealing magic damage in area and slowing them. That's... Wait. Is that a skill shot? That's a skill shot! That's a skill shot! That's two skill shots! That's a bingo! That's a bingo! BINGO! We got it! We got bingo! Also a dash, you're right. There we go. We got bingo! Everyone sub right now. Bingo! Nice one, Riot! Nice one, Riot! Good job, as always. That's a fucking bingo right here. Uh. Good job, Rajot Games. Love it. Okay. So now the blast of Spirit Magic, Ding Magic Nation and Riot slowing them. Arola will hop backwards slightly on cast. Oh my god. Riot said you can hop- ANOTHER TERRAIN SCALING! QWE You're right! Q damage, W is defense, and E is mobility! There we go. R, between worlds, sends out a pulse of spirit energy that deals magic damage and slows enemies. The area merges with the spirit realm, granting Aurora an empowered spirit mode, Not and allowing her to travel from one end to the area to the other. Enemies Not who try to cross yet. a threshold will take magic damage, be slowed, and we push back towards the center. But how many times can she dash? One? Two? Is it just infinite? Yeah, and, and Camille does a fucking jump, bro, and Camille does a jump. Nice. It's literally Mars ultimate from Dota. This jump is gonna be so cancer if you have skill shots. If you have skill shots, yeah, have fun landing it on this champion. Oh my god. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, I love it. Because this is a top laner, right? Imagine what I can do with this champion. A ranged top player playing this champion. Imagine what I can do to an innocent melee gamer. Yeah, that's gonna be very fun. No, it's a top laner. It's a, it's a top laner with mid flex, Riot said themselves. She has hard CC. 
Okay. Gimmicky ult. Boom. We can uh, cr uh, cross that out. Doesn't have hard CC. She doesn't have a stun or a fucking... Like, yeah, basically a stun. She doesn't have a point and click. She doesn't have a dot. Okay, two bingos. Aurora hits two bingos. Old dot? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, we don't have built in magic. We don't have built in magic pen, so we can't get double bingo. She's not manaless. She can just keep recasting it. Okay, no overreacting about this champion or anything. But what does this champion do? Like, let's be honest. She doesn't have reliable crowd control. Her base kit is kind of lackluster. Looks like at least. Like, what does she do? Like, mid lane for a like, mid lane Aurora. What does she do better than, than like Syndra or like Orianna or any or Talia, right? Those have utility. And everything, damage spells. This one just kinda like fucking annoying as fuck. Like you just troll. And then top lane. Ignoring Adolf Hitler, aka Rumble. A other AP top laner, like what does she really do? It doesn't seem like she's Omega big damage champion. But I don't know, I gotta I gotta play her. Too bad I don't have LPP so I can Is she on P when is she gonna be on PB so I can play it? Aurora is a vast iron bunny mage that has stealth, plenty of wall hopping skills, free hit passive and a pretty crazy ultimate. In today's video I'll show you her abilities, gameplay, I'll show you the tooltips of her spells and a lot Next of testing week, that I'll I was test able it. to do when Riot invited me to LA to check her out. Thanks to this I'll be able to explain her kit in much more details than usual. Riot has worked on Aurora for 7 years. She is bringing diversity to League of Legends through the representation of autism. She can see the veil between spirit and material realms. She is a frailly ordained witch. She is intended to be viable. No way this took seven years, especially this design. This design is just hot fucking fat ass, fat titties, bunny girl with red hair. There's nothing unique about her. Zero. No way that's seven years, bro. Zero chance. Both mid and top lane. But it's also possible she will be playable in other roles, although that isn't a very high priority. Let's get straight to her abilities. Aurora's passive is called Spirit Abjuration. Wayward spirits are drawn to Aurora. If she damages an enemy three times with her spells or attacks, she will perform an exorcism, dealing percentage of enemy max health as magic damage and also freeing a spirit that will empower her healing every second and she will also enter spirit mode, gaining percentage movement speed for 3 seconds. Every additional spirit that follows Aurora will further increase her bonus movement speed by 5%. Passive damage is... This model look... I'm a, okay, I'm gonna just say this model looks ass, okay? I don't like the model, like the way she looks in game. Max age. It's fine, it's fine because fucking... 5 hours into her release we are gonna make a skin that just turns her into big chungus, okay? Because I hate this model. This model sucks. We have 5 seconds custom skin pick Chungus Aurora. And I will play with that every game. And it also scales with AP. Each 100 AP equals 1% enemy max HP damage. And the movement speed part of her passive also scales with AP. 3% bonus movement speed per each 100 AP she has. As far as I know, this passive can only be stuck on champions and epic monsters. As you probably noticed, Aurora's passive is pretty stacked. It's a very important part of her kit. Aurora's Q is called Twofold Hex. She fires a blast of cursed energy in a direction, dealing. Those AP ratios are pathetic. But does the, the but the, does this apply to the main target? Yes or no? Is it one twenty percent AP every time you hit it, or is it only one twenty if you pass through? 
to all. That's retarded. <laughs> That's retarded. 120 fucking... 120 AP ratio? What? That's Luke's ultimate AP ratio! That's her ult! It's a basic ability with 6 second cooldown with no CDR! Magic damage to enemies hit. Oh, it's missing health. Never mind, I'm Eblan. And marking them with spirit energy. This ability overall is similar to Ari's Q, but has a recast that is similar to Zaya E. Aurora can recast this ability to end the curse, draw back the spirit energy to herself, and deal up to double the damage of first outgoing Q but this is based on the missing health of enemies. So ideally, you want to use it as an- That's a racist way of clear, wow! First part of her Q is scaling with 30% AP, and second part of it is scaling with up to 80% AP. Remember that her Q applies passive, so with Q itself, you can already have two stacks of passive applied to the enemy. This ability is definitely Aurora's bread and butter- Oh, but those are early game minions, never mind. Primary source of damage. The cooldown of this ability is from 8, to 6 seconds. Aurora's W is called Across the Veil. She bunny hops in the direction. Upon landing... Her kid is boring as fuck other than ults and she's a Finley mid laner. Her kid can survive top if you want to play competitive. Bro, I can survive lane with fucking smaller on top lane and Kale. How, how would this be harder? She becomes... I can survive it with the Briar. So, yeah. It's invisible know, for 1.4 seconds at rank 1. Up to 2 seconds at rank 5 That's of gonna ability. be so she can move insanely in cancer to deal with. Oh my god, a dash with Inevis, actual true Inevis. Similarly to Shaco in his Q. This ability Shaco? Also oh! So makes her enter spirit mode, so she gets an extra movement speed. Takedowns on enemies within 3 seconds of damaging them also makes this ability refresh. With this, you can be a pretty big nuisance in a teamfight. Stealth in, get a kill or assist, stealth in Resets again, are get fun, another kill, so stealth in again. Just like I'm trying here with dummies. Don't worry, your screen is not gonna be that dark, it was just me messing in practice tool. It's gonna be just like in another clip that you saw. Remember that this ability allows you to jump over walls. You can easily jump a baron wall or for example this wall near the river, opposite to the dragon. Definitely worth learning those jumps. This ability has a cooldown of 80. I assure you, I play, I played, I, I predicted action when I said action is gonna be better top lane than mid lane when he was releasing. And on release, action mid was kinda ass and top lane was OP. I assure you, this is not a mid laner. This is 100% a top laner because the W, E, like, every spell is so short range compared to mid. How will this champion survive an Orianna or a Syndra or like any mage or a Talia, right? But on top lane, you have movement speed, you have consistent damage, max health, invis which cacks melees. This is for sure top laner. How can anyone say this is mid? Her, like, look, like her spells are so pathetic range. 18 seconds down to 14 seconds when it is maxed. Aurora's E is called The Weirding. She unlocks a window to the spirit realm, which sends out a like, blast Like, look this, look this range, bro. Look this range. Imagine you, okay, I want, like, on, on the tip, on the tip, you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna trade with the Talia. And then Talia is like, from another rock, from another rock, fucking knocks you up, stuns you, and runs away. ...of spirit magic, dealing magic damage in an area and slowing enemies by 80%, decaying over one second. The force of this ability also knocks Aurora back, similarly to Graves' ult. This ability also applies passive. I can't, her model is so weird, I, I, I don't know, why is she so small? <laughs> With this ability you can jump over some of the shortest walls on Sauner's Rift. The cooldown is 15 seconds at rank 1 and it goes down to 11 seconds at rank 5. And then finally, we have Aurora's ult. It's called Between Worlds. Okay, let me let me read the exact. 
Bunny Mage and Nox are rifted as Spirit Realms, sending out our spirit. Uh, uh, spirit spells, enemies. Aria merges with Spirit Realms for free second game. And for doubling her bonuses where she's in it. And allowing her to travel from one end. That's so aid. Are still out for, the for fight after being pushed. Oh my god. Worlds. She unlocks her rift to the Spirit Realm, sending a pulse of energy that does magic damage and slows enemies hit by 30% for 2 seconds. This area merges with Oh, the she doesn't recast it. She has to go to the other end. She can't just like click and dish, 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 dish. For three seconds, giving Aurora an empowered spirit mode, doubling her bonuses while she's inside of it and allowing her to travel from one end to the other. Yeah, the, like the hardest champion in the game to catch is Shaco Pike. And yeah, now it's Aurora, bro. Like, good luck catching this, this shit. By walking into its wall. You can travel from one end to the other multiple times in one cast. When Aurora travels from one side to the other, she cannot be targeted, and also she cannot use any spells. Oh, and she is also unstoppable during the casting part of ultimate. Any enemies that attempt to cross this threshold are going to be pushed back toward the center of the wow. area <laughs> and slowed by 75% for one and a half seconds. After okay, I hate comparing, but this is literally just way better Camille ult. What? Being pushed. What? This is literally just a better... Yeah, and, and, and what does Camille do, bro? What is very important is that as an enemy, you cannot walk out of this ability. You can flash out of it, or you can get out of it by using a blink, like Ezreal's E. Okay, no... you can flash, never mind. Camille has a place now. Well, that is... Will... Okay, I thought you can't escape, but you can flash, so Camille is still like... Will not allow yeah. you to get out of this ability. Aurora cannot leave it herself, even if she uses her W. That being said, she can recast this ability to cancel it, similarly to Jarvan Alt. What's very important about this ability is its cast time. Why is it so important? If you cast this but then immediately walk outside of it, you are likely going to get out before the area is spawned and this will result that in has an to be automatic fixed. cancel. So be careful when you use this ability that has you to be a bug. the edge of it. The duration of Alt is free, Three and a half and four seconds for levels 6, 11, and 16, respectively. The cooldown of this ability is 140 seconds at rank 1, 120 seconds nice at rank seven 2, years. and 100 seconds at rank 3. Of course, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't try to bug this ability. I tried to use it in the base or an alcove, hoping I can maybe glitch out outside of the map, but didn't get much luck there. Now, let's talk a bit more about her support. If you pick the support, you're griefing. No CC, only damage, sh short range. How is that a support, bro? Gameplay, items, etc. Aurora abilities use plenty of mana. 60, 80, 80, and 100, respectively. So rushing a mana item definitely seems like a solid idea. For items, you most You're likely want support, to go for a typical AP Briar, burst bro. mage build, like Ludens, Rabadons, and Zonias. For runes, we are suggested to try Electrocute for extra damage or Phase Rush to further increase Aurora's already high mobility. In terms of mobility, she can be somewhat compared to Lilia, but she also has stealth and more dashes. Speaking of dashes, learning which walls you can pass over with your W, E and Alt is gonna be very important. Proper positioning is gonna be absolutely crucial when playing Aurora. She can output a lot of damage. Her basic combo is often going to be Q, E, Q. It's important to use your first Q before E because after Okay, Riot, enough. We get it. You picked when you release Action and Briar. This is like not it. I mean, the champ will be fine, not a way to have to play it, but like, I'm not like Omega excited about it. I'm gonna be honest.